Movie star Osi Ukeje, who plays lead as a Nigerian in the South African award-winning film Ayonda, as well as a number of other celebrities, stepped out for the movie's premiere in Lagos. More on that coming up next. After months of anticipation, South African movie Ayonda the girl-powered themed coming-of-age story hits the Nigerian cinemas. Movie buffs including cast member Osi KJ and his friends were on ground to usher the South African drama to the big screens. The movie rides on a strong success story with the lead cast Fulu Mogubani carting away the Best Actress Prize at the African Movie Academy Awards and Osi Wukeji also getting a nomination in the keenly contested male category. Next time I'm going to go to the bottle of whiskey. Ayanda, you are out of your depth here. Like way off track because I don't listen. So the courage is again your challenge. I don't know how to do this. Get back, mama. How can you do this? He died here. My father, right here. It was a stupid, avoidable mistake. Look, David, I need to get ahead, and to do that, I need commitment. You have commitment. I thought that fixing your dad's car would free you. Instead, it's imprisoned you. Well, I mean, uh, I, I hope that it was something that would come here and on this level, and hopefully that uh, the cinemas would, would, you know, show it. Because, yeah, what around is it? It's an art house film and you know, they don't know that the audiences will enjoy it. But I'm happy because for me, it's at least one opportunity that we're giving the Nigerian audiences to see it if they want to, you know, and make their minds up for themselves. I get that the numbers, you know, can be determine as a film business, but um, I'm happy it's here anyway. All right, um, the movie itself has generated a whole lot of buzz. There was that um, award nomination for you. Um, there was that win for her and um, also um, a whole lot of people are talking about it in the good light. Um, could you share with us um, what the, your experience was um, shooting this um, particular movie? I, I mean, I, I had a, a solid experience with it, especially because, first of all, they, they handpick you. You've never met these people, but they are sure that you can do the job. And then we have the necessary intensive. And after that, you know, supportive cast, uh, producers are amazing, you know, director is super easy to work with, you know, your opinions are super valid, you know. So it, it, it was really nice working on this film. So in the four week period, um, I, I was happy, really. The story focuses on the self-discovery journey of a young titled character in the male-dominated world of auto repair in a bid to preserve her father's legacy. Forget a good deal on the parts. I think we should be able to do it for 14. So, go and tell Ayanda. No, you go tell Ayanda. I'm not telling Ayanda. Oh, my David. What? So, give me the ball. Okay, we will shoot for it. Sudden death. The first one to score wins. Zoom. The loser has to tell Ayanda about the 15,000. Oh, I play the character of uh, David, uh, who's an immigrant. Um, supposed to be schooling in South Africa, you know, but obviously has to make ends meet. Um, starts working as a mechanic at this workshop. Um, comes across Ayanda, who's the center of the film, who's also on her own journey, um, especially because she's experienced some loss and she's finding it difficult to um, let go of her father's memories. And the mechanic, have, um, the mechanic workshop happens to be one of the things that belongs to her dad. So um, our paths cross in the period and then you kind of see us go through the journey while I'm trying to figure myself out. Um, She's also figuring herself out and then how our budding romance becomes something interesting. O.C. Ukeji's character puts him in the position of a Nigerian immigrant in South Africa. Playing that role helped him understand the controversies 
surrounding how some Nigerians are perceived in the country. Well, it's interesting because I actually went to a number of workshops, uh, mechanic workshops, where the Nigerians are, you know, the mechanics, you know. So it was nice to be there, to hear the language, to see, you know, what their lives became. Um, especially because it gave a holistic experience to um, the David character. But more importantly, it made sense um, why we are judged the way we are judged. Because I could see it and I mean I'd go to any typical Igbo market and I would probably see some of the same things. But because we are built like this, we understand it. When you see it in a different country, you can understand why there is animosity towards it. But it wasn't anything I have not seen before. You know. Um, I, I don't know. I guess that um, we as Nigerians, we have a way with ourselves when we're in public. And uh, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't just think it was as bad as it makes out to the public, at least the ones that I saw. Fast rising Nollywood actress Belinda Effa, who was present at the premiere, believed cross border collaboration, as seen in Ayonda, will help African cinema grow faster. Well, I think we are united to start with. We should be united. It's not about South Africa, it's not about Nigeria. Like he said, it's a South African movie, but it has Osi OKJ in it. Osi is a Nigerian. For them to have cast Osi in the movie, it means that we are united. So um, I pray for the day that. Africa will be one in the sense that whether or not we get to use other Africans in the movie, it will be shown in all the cinemas across Africa. So that's what I pray for, for our movies and uh, for Africa as a whole. And that's the only way we can stay united. Ayanda received generally positive reviews upon release, earning a special jury citation at the 2015 Los Angeles Film Festival.